only have two contestants that are left here that are, I had your name somewhere, oh, Scott and Beth, mm-hmm. that, that are available. Mondo, you want to go over there and just uh, get ready for the final part of the Shut the Puck Up contest. Here you go, Mondo. This is your moment to shine. Star Power DLP Super Seats for Monday night's game. We're down one nothing in the series with the first game last night. So, Yes. Uh, there you go. Hello. Now we got Mondo on the wireless. Hi, Mondo Mike. Go. Hello, live from the <laughs> Dallas Studios. Hi. Mondo. Mondo, I'm on a different side of the studio. How are things over there? <laughs> I just want to be able to step on you anytime, Dean. You now have a hockey puck in your hand. It's going to be placed in your mouth. You won't be allowed to touch it once it's in your mouth. So position it however you think you'll be most comfortable. And then we're going to go on about our business. And it's the person that can keep the puck there the longest without it falling out or you touching it. Drooling. Because There's if you be inadvertently touch it to readjust it, because you could, it's by accident, you're not even thinking, it's a, you know, you'll be out. And we'll be keeping an eye on you. Right. Now, Beth, what is your saliva factor? Do we know if you saliva a lot? I have no idea. Salivate, maybe. Sal- salivating, salivating. <laughs> you know, I like to make up new words. And Scott, Salivate. the last time you had something this big, it's a, it's a regular size hockey puck. The last time you had something that big in your mouth, because it's the size of a slider, yeah, like a little big. hamburger yeah, slider. Yeah, now, you're going to you get it up there. You can, as long as your hand doesn't leave that puck, you can adjust it. Don't try to jam it all the way in your throat. You're, first of all, I don't think you'll be able to. You're not going to be able to swallow it, so I don't think you'll have a problem there. And if you are, you're hired. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Wouldn't the drooling make it it's harder well, to exactly. keep in? Well, that's why we thought if there were 10 contestants who didn't get knocked out in the trivia, it would have been funny just a bunch of All people lined up with pucks in their mouth. So yeah. at this point, you get to shut the puck up. Now, we'll, we'll tell you when to go because both of you are going to have to do this uh, together at the same time. Okay, yeah. all right. On three, you guys will place the puck in your mouth. One, two, three. There we go. Scott's wiping his mouth off. He's positioning the puck in his mouth. And uh, Beth is employing a very <laughs> unusual... She still has her hand on the puck. She She's barely taken the puck in her mouth. Well, now don't make her laugh. You're, you're not used to having foreign things in your mouth. Is no, that true? Your mouth not. is still up there, right, Beth? Uh, you can you, you can go. answer. Your your mouth is still on. Uh, your hand is still on the puck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's good. Yeah. Now P- uh, Scott has already released. He's his good. Hand. He's in okay. position. Now I've got to be they honest with you. Uh, Beth doesn't have very much of the puck in her mouth. Now that may be a good strategy. You think initially as we were testing these pucks because you thought, okay, I could grip that, but as time ticks by. Your grip on that puck, as all the weight is extended out now near your chin there, Beth, uh, you might have a problem. That's what I'm saying, Beth. Th- that may not be a very good uh, system. How do you feel about it? Uh, it well, don't. <laughs> no, she doesn't have any answer. <laughs> Scott, what he has done is he's tilted his head back onto the mirror, and now the gravity is forcing the puck down his mouth. Oh, Can you sing memories from Barbara Streisand, Scott? Very, oh. <laughs> oh, go. right. very good, very good. Okay, Mondo, okay. shut the puck up. Oh, thank Seriously, you. Seriously, okay. can the sports right, guy get a puck? All right, come on back over here, bro. Yes, please come next to me, my friend. <laughs> it's not the same without you near. <laughs> and you guys, uh, Sam, are you going to keep an eye on him? Are you going to be the official yeah. that'll uh, just not? Well, you're good at that, just standing and staring, <laughs> lurking about. <laughs> I didn't bring it in here with me. Our category, since Mother's Day is on Sunday. Awesome. It is. Our category today is moms. Yes. Yay. To play. All right, so we need three contestants. 214-787-1053 is our number. That's 214 Sarah Wilson, Teddy Roosevelt, or William Howard Taft. 1914. Yes, ma'am. Uh, w- say the three presidents again. Woodrow Wilson, Teddy Roosevelt, or William Howard Taft. Ooh, I want to say Teddy Roosevelt. No, he <laughs> left Wilson. office and Woodrow Wilson ah! was there. Oh, Sorry about that. Oh, God bless it. Oh, we suck. <laughs> James, yes, the callers are the only ones that have scored yeah. so far. Uh, James, according to Tom Cruise, how did Katie Holmes show she was cool to his two adopted children? Was it, oh, how's our contestants doing? Oh, Scott's having some problems. Uh, Scott, how's it feeling over there? Uh, oh, oh, a lot of drool. Yeah, yeah. Lot drool. Gonna, yeah. You should have brought a bib. Jaws are cramping. Beth's actually like, ah, this is a piece of shake. She's doing okay there. She's not feeling any of the pain just no yet. Heat. Okay, hang all in. All sorts of projectors, so you get to select from all sorts of different ones. And the biggest thing is, is projectors are a little more difficult to install. And so people are a little uncomfortable with who's installing it. That's where star power comes in. We're the best there is when it comes to installation. So you know when you buy your projector. Right, so I'm talking with Todd and Kim. No, Scott and Beth. Yes. And so, uh, <laughs> now, Scott, what do you do for a living? And you don't have to answer, but I want you to act it out. Show me what your job is just by moving around. Sitting. Okay. He's grabbing his back end, and uh, he's showing me his wallet. He makes wallets. Financing. Uh, okay, wallets. Banking. Uh, uh, I have no idea. You're a cop? No, you work bathhouses. I have no idea. <laughs> 
<laughs> he's like thumbs up. He yeah. took his wallet Acting out. Acting out like if you're doing charades. Yeah. yeah. You have a wallet. Okay. Oh, he pulls out his wallet and he, he shows people. A Blockbuster video card. You work at Blockbuster. No. 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 You have coupons and you eat out a lot. <laughs> no. <laughs> no? I think he's trying to get his business card, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, so, like, if I was going to show you what I do, I would sit and sleep. <laughs> I would just show that as my okay. So we have no idea what he does. Do you know what he does? Since you know his wife, I have no idea what he does. I just, okay. I, and how do you know his wife? wife? We went to church together. Oh. And now, Scott, you took. Uh, you're trying to get your business card out, but you can't like actually physically show us. Like maybe you're doing a, a hole punch operator. You or never played charades. Never played charades. So you, you would it be great if his job was to stand somewhere with a puck in his mouth? <laughs> <laughs> We're dealing with a true pro, right? Because they do look like a couple of you bangies waiting for a bus. I mean, they're both standing here with like the big lower lip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is what oh, it exactly that's exactly. <laughs> and Beth, do you do you have a job? Do you, what do you do? Uh, can okay. you act it out? Can you show yeah, us? Kind of show us. Okay. Yeah. No. All right. Perfect. Two <laughs> mimes. No. <laughs> well, they got hockey pucks in there. Oh, 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 oh man! She she lost the puck. It fell out. It fell out. See, I told Turn you that technique was just not a good technique. Ken Scott's asking, can he take that? Yeah, congratulations. Yeah. Beth, I had my money uh, on you too. Yeah. I couldn't put it in. Oh, what, what's that, Beth? I can't. I have a, a really small jaw, so well, I can't put it in any farther. No, a so puck is uh, a puck is wide going across. It's you got to have a really big mouth to jam a puck into your mouth. Seriously, yeah. I have a hard time even going to the dentist. Really? I knew that that was you have that crazy oh, jaw thing going. No. on. Your poor Let husband. Me see one. Uh, okay, Jasmine, go ahead. Let Grab one. There's one. there's a bag full of them. Yes. Get her a clean one. Yeah, please. Here, here's the one Scott had. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jasmine's right. gonna do it. Jasmine, show us how, show us how it's done, and keep it until Tuesday, mm. please. Oh, oh. How about the remainder of the year? Mm. Ah. Yeah. Oh. See, it's hard, and the taste, the taste oh, of the puck, yeah. right? Oh, uh, yeah, I like. Did you guys try one? No, I want to try one now. Sam, may I have a minty one, sir? <laughs> Mondo, Give Mondo one? one. Keep it here on standby in case we need it. It's hard not to think of a hostess ding dong. Oh, no, an oil. Hello. Oh, I can still talk. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> you, your mouth is so hey, big. <laughs> hello, everyone. <laughs> this is amazing. How you doing, D? Tell oh, me oh, great. Seriously. Tell Mo me you're funny. Mo Mondo's mouth so big, even with a puck in it, we can't I shut it up. I got the whole thing in there. Oh, Give me another one. <laughs> <laughs> this is genius! Look, oh, I tell you, you guys, I can do this for the rest of the show. Yeah, right, whatever. Okay.